now the jacob and monod they try to understand whether and how or which are the different situations in which the lack of heron is constituted or uninducible whether it is dominant or recessive cis acting elements are acting or trans elements are acting right whether the uh, you know the operator or promoter or regulatory elements or structural genes are recessive or dominant etc etc so for that they made mirozygote and mirozygotes are nothing but the partially deployed bacterial cell right so what they did actually they develop a mirozygote of the lac operon so this is the chromosomal dna and this is the plasmid dna on which the lac operon is there and they studied various mutants of the mirozygote here we discussed four different conditions of the mirozygote so first case is that in the lac operon the e coli with mutation at the regulatory gene so this mutation is i minus mutation so this is mirozygote condition this is the wild type gene and this is the gene present on the plasmid so plus it indicates the wild type and minus here is the mutant so i minus means it won't synthesize any repressor or they won't synthesize repressor protein so the repressor protein has not been synthesized by the mirozygote but the wild type gene this synthesizes repressor the tetramerize also and they bind at this promoter as well as this promoter with the same efficiency without any difference right so here in this operon also the expression of the lac gene products are not there right here not there and here also not there right so what we can conclude so here we can conclude this i minus mutation is the recessive mutation right because this i minus mutation is not able to even stop the expression of or you know the uh, execution of the or it won't be able to make the switch on this operon also right so this is the recessive mutation because it is fulfilled by this i plus okay now the second situation is that when a mutation has been done at the operator site right so this is the oc operator mutation has been done so what happens here both i plus and i plus they synthesizes tetrameric repressor but these tetrameric repressor can bind here right on the wild type dna but it want to be able to bind at the uh, you know mirozygote dna right so mirozygote dna the structural gene of the lac operon it expresses right whereas the repressor binds at the original dna strand of the lac operon so here the expression is not there right so what conclusion we can make from this observation so we can make here the lac operon here or we can see the operator is cis acting right so this operator is acting only on the mirozygote dna strand so this operator can be called as cis acting element and this mutation makes the mirozygote dna switch on right so this is called dominant kind of mutation because this cannot be interfered by any other gene or gene products of the original strand of the dna right this dna isn't it so this mutation is called cis dominant mutation okay dominant why because the gene expression of this dna or the lac operon expression of this dna cannot be halted by the upper strand of the dna okay third condition is that the mutation has been made in the 
regulatory gene again the i gene but here the mutation is different from the first case mutation has been done in a way that the inducer i mean the allo lactose or iptg cannot bind at the tetramer right mutation has been done in that way so what happens see here is right so is it synthesizes a repressor which is yellow in color here right and the repressor synthesized by the i plus is green in color right so both repressors are synthesized in the same amount right so here the tetramer has been formed by the combination of both green and yellow repressor right and the mutation in the green repressor is that that inducer cannot bind right so it overall i mean this overall cannot be affected by the inducer in entire tetramer whether only one or two or three yellow uh, repressor is there it is not affected it always binds at the operator site whether the inducer is there or not it won't affect right so presence or absence of the inducer in both case it will bind at the operator site in the wild type as well as the mirozygote dna right so the gene expression is off in both the cases so now the observation which kind of conclusion we can draw so see this mutation is first thing is the cis as well as the trans acting mutation because you know the mutation has been done on this strand but the gene expression has been switched off this strand i mean this dna as well as the this dna so this is both cis as well as the trans acting element or mutation right and this mutation cannot be fulfilled by the any other gene which is present in this combination so this is again called dominant so this is cis as well as the trans acting dominant mutation okay try to understand okay think about that okay now we discuss the fourth case fourth case is that again the mutation has been done on the i gene but the mutation is different here this mutation is i minus t right and this is called dominant negative mutation so in this mutation what happens it forms a tetramer right again here the yellow color repressor has been synthesized by the minus id right but the thing is that after formation of the tetramer they change the dna binding domain of the tetramer so they are now not able to bind at the operator site right they cannot bind at the operator site so what happens both the gene right this wild type as well as the mirozygote will express themselves right so which conclusion we can draw here so this mutation can be called dominant mutation of course because this mutation cannot be supplemented or fulfilled or corrected by the any gene of this mirozygote so this is of course dominant right and uh, the another thing is that this is uh, you know uh, cis as well as trans both right cis acting as well as trans acting and another thing is that what happens actually why it is negative so what happens here the mutant protein it poisons the activity of the wild protein right so this protein this wild protein green one right it also becomes poisons due to the addition of a uh, one or two or three molecules of the green repressor protein that's why this is called dominant negative right this is nothing but the summary of the different cases what we discussed earlier right so just you go through the slide and try to understand here in the presence of beta galactosidase as well as in the absence of the beta galactosidase cases has been given and all the cases are written here the conclusion has been written here right if you understood these things then you can be able to solve this question right so what the question is just i'm reading the key points so a mirozygote has been synthesized in which oc zy z minus and y plus whereas the o plus z plus y plus 
is there right so this is the mirror zygote and the activity of beta galactosidase enzyme was measured upon the following treatment right okay so the first stage no induction when no allolactose lactose or lactose is there so what happens in the in this case and we always think about the beta galactosidase enzyme activity right because the answer is given in the form of graph right so see no induction means the oc the first case see here the oc i mean the operator is mutant but here what happens z is minus that means they want to be able to synthesize the beta galactosidase so no beta galactosidase is there and second case here o plus is there right o plus means wild type operator is there right and wild type operator it always occupies with the tetrameric repressor when the inducer is nowhere or not there right so if induction is not there basal level of transcription and translation takes place so some amount of beta galactosidase or very less amount of beta galactosidase would be there right so first bar should be the less not zero because zero is not there because always basal level of transcription is there so this and this may be the case okay now we uh, move ahead the induction with the n mole of iptg okay so iptg is the inducer so of course the level of the beta galactose stage would be higher than that of the first case right so again both cases the beta galactose stage uh, you know the activity is higher than that of the a case okay so third the induction with the n mole of lactose so n mole of lactose that means uh, in this case see the lactose is catabolized right but iptg is not catabolized so the bar should be lesser height of the bar should be lesser in the case of lactose because it is catabolized after some time but iptg is not catabolized right so the option three would be the correct answer here but we should uh, you know read the fourth option also fourth condition also so induction with the n mole of lactose in the presence of the n mole of glucose right so see here the lactose and glucose both are there so what happens here the uh, you know the expression would be there right n mole of lactose as well as the n mole of glucose is there so certainly the expression would be there but less amount of expression would be there because glucose is there okay so glucose is there so the no cmp crp complex will form so answer three is the correct answer so friends if you understood this entire lecture so please like the video share with your friends and colleagues and subscribe so that we can boost up to make the other videos also so thank you thank you very much